Hi everyone, Dana from First Coffee Then Colors. Um, apologies, this is kind of like a different setup right now. We are having work done in our downstairs, so there's like a lot of stuff in here, including Halloween decoration stuff. <laughs> um, but today I wanted to come on here and talk about uh, a topic that I talk about with a lot of my color clients, and that is what happens after a color analysis. So you get your colors done, you find out your best colors, you're rearing to go, you've organized your closet, you've weeded out all the colors that are not your best ones anymore, you've even gone shopping for some of your new colors, but then what happens? Sometimes about like six months, a year down the road, you start to be like, okay, I've definitely gotten better with choosing the correct colors, but sometimes something is still a little bit off. What is that? That is style. So style, I like to say, is the next step after color. So first figure out your colors, then move on to style. And style analysis is something that I do. I always try to encourage people to have their colors done first because that is very black and white, no pun intended, but you can figure out what your colors are and you know them. Those are your colors. Okay, there's not a lot of wiggle room. Style is so much more nuanced and I feel like it's a lot more complicated, but there are things you can find out that will help you when you are shopping, when you are deciding if something's right or not right for you. And when I do a style analysis, we look at a couple different things. We look at face shape to determine your face shape, which will tell you your best earrings, necklace, glasses, haircut, um, collars, lapel, so many things. We also look at the outside oh, body line. I'm going to run into <laughs> stuff all over the place here. Um, the outside body line, which will tell you which silhouettes will look best on your body. And perhaps most importantly, we will talk about your style personality, uh, also called personal style expression. And um, what that means is there are six overarching types that you could potentially be one or two or three, like a mixture of. And it will tell you a lot about why you gravitate to some clothing and really don't like others. And it will help you figure out like, why did I never wear that blouse? Perhaps it wasn't me. That is style personality. And um, I'm actually doing, I actually have a class on personal style expression, i.e. style personality. And the class, it actually is an hour long class. Uh, it comes with a workbook and assessment um, and very low cost available on my website. And if you have had your colors done and want to move on to style, it's a really good first step because you start to see why even though certain clothes are your correct color and they fit, but something is still a little bit off could very well be that it's not you. It's not your personal style expression. It's not your style personality. Okay, so if you uh, want some information on the class, uh, feel free to say class or style in the comments and I will send you the link, all right? And perhaps next week I will have this room decluttered so I can actually be sitting down in, in my normal backdrop. But um, anyways, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, etc. And I will see you next time. Bye.